We live in an increasingly digitalized world. We communicate with friends and peers on mobile applications, post about our lives on social media, work remotely with our laptops, and attend conferences and meetings online. However, all this progress comes at a cost, as it opens a dangerous new pathway for criminals. If we are to continue to enjoy the benefits of digitalization, we need to be stronger and smarter and better equipped than the criminals. Most of all, we need to stand united against these threats. So how do we unite? We need strong cybersecurity specialists. We need our future cyber heroes. We need you. To raise the next generation of cybersecurity experts, ENISA, the European Union Agency for Cybersecurity, has been running Capture the Flag events, or CTFs, at EU level since 2016. After six years of successful competitions with more and more talent taking part, ENISA decided to take the CTFs to the next level. I'm happy to announce the first team to represent Europe in the first international cybersecurity challenge. Cybersecurity is a fast growing sector. As a result, there is a very high demand, ever increasing demand for talented engineers and people with the relevant skills. To participate in hackathons, participate in competitions, the idea still being to develop cyber skills. CTFs is a great event to actually get a community going. It is a very fun way. You can gamify different aspects of cybersecurity. Give these young talents an opportunity to network and to get to know each other. These students are the, the new leaders, for sure, right? Every one of them that's here has now got it in their blood, and they're going to be the next generation. And the opportunities are many, the problems are vast. It makes people aspire to become, you know, better. By doing this for many years, we will see the skills shortage problem reducing over time. Some of them even organize their own challenges. Welcome to Athens. Welcome to the first International Cybersecurity Challenge, or ICC, where talents from 64 countries have come together to show off their cybersecurity skills and battle to take home a prize from the World Championships. Seven continents have selected the best of the best young cybersecurity talent in their regions to battle it out in technical challenges to find out who will be the ultimate best of the best. In a gritty two-day competition, Team Asia, Team Africa, Team US, Team Canada, Team Oceania, Team Latin America, and Team Europe all show off their skills. The first game day is called Jeopardy, where competing teams get access to some hardcore standalone challenges in different categories. These challenges present logical problems where players need to hack malfunctioning websites, break cryptographic protocols, reverse engineer and exploit software, identify vulnerabilities in hardware devices, and even try to find the exit from a specially crafted escape room. On day two, teams play attack defense. They get their own infrastructure, which comes with logical flaws that teams have to find and fix before their competitors manage to get access to their network and steal flags. At the same time as defending, they also need to exploit flaws they must discover in other teams to attack them and gain points. After 18 hours of strenuous coding, numb fingers, sweat and agony, and after having solved more than 50 challenges and defended against thousands of cyber attacks from other teams, we have our winner. And so, the winning continent for the first International Cybersecurity Challenge is... First place overall winner is him. Stop. Let's go back a bit. Are these people? How did they end up here in Athens? And what about you? Can you participate? Let's find out. I'm Clemens, I'm 21 and I'm coming from Austria. Hi, uh, I'm Katka from the Czech Republic, I'm 20. 
Uh, my name is Samuel, I'm from Iceland and I'm 18. My name is Eliška Kinerová and I'm from Czechia and I'm 26 years old. And I'm here because uh, I love challenges. First of all, I like the topic, I like cybersecurity, I like hacking and it is great fun. I, I have always sort of been a more technical person and uh, then later found that I'm especially interested in information technology. I really like challenges and I like challenging myself with the challenges. And then also I came here mostly to meet other people and learn. Came by chance by meeting a few people who showed me that there's a contest and it actually had like pretty fun like uh, tasks to do. And from then I just, uh, just, just participated in anything I could find really. My name is Jacob. I'm from Denmark. I'm 24 years old and I study software engineering. Um, my name is Janis Kirschner. I'm from Basel, Switzerland and 21 years old. Um, even back when I was a kid, I loved taking stuff apart and figuring out how, how things work. And um, so cybersecurity was like a super fascinating topic that really like aligns with those skills. And uh, at some point I lived in a dorm and uh, my neighbor, a young guy, was playing very loud music from his Chromecast. Uh, and me being a technical person, I wanted to solve the problem of him listening to large, uh, loud music. And uh, I ended up figuring out that you can throw people off the Wi-Fi by sending uh, specific packets. And that's how I got started in, in security, by getting a, a good night's sleep, yeah. So how did you get here? I'm, uh, I'm Diederik from the Netherlands. I started with computers when I was, uh, I think, four years old or something, quite a long time ago. Just playing games and, well, not, not really serious uh, hacking stuff. That came way later, actually. Uh, went through high school, uh, still was quite uh, busy with computers, started a company in helping old people with computers, basically. And after lots of doubts, uh, after high school, I uh, started computer science in, at a university in the east of the Netherlands, um, which is a general program. It's not focused on, uh, on cybersecurity yet. And during my studies, I started getting interested in, uh, in cybersecurity. Hi, I am Alexia. I'm 23 years old and I come from Greece. Hi. I'm Joanna, uh, I'm 23 years old as well, and I come from the Netherlands. Uh, I'm currently doing a master's in cybersecurity, so uh, all the experiences I get here and like uh, actually solving real life problems um, with, like, for example, breaking cryptography, cryptography what we're doing right now. Um, that's really interesting. That's not something you really learn in like the, the theoretical courses. Um, so I'm definitely going to take all the experiences I have from CTFs uh, with my masters and then after that, I don't know, maybe become a, become a threat hunter as well. <laughs> <laughs> that would be fun. I'm also doing threat hunting now, as you know, and I'm thinking potentially move to digital forensics and incident response. So that's, that's really my, cool. my yeah. dream. Uh, and I think, you know, the fact that I'm playing forensics in CDFs a lot and I'm training in the ICC also in different categories, it gives you a broader un understanding of all the different fields because it's all connected. What do people think about you being a hacker? Your parents, your friends, for example? My parents and my friends like it a lot. They don't know much about computers, so they like having me around, uh, keeping them secure, per se. So I'm Carlos, I'm from Spain, I'm 26 years old. People outside the community, about the hacker community, that think that they are dark and they do bad things and all these things. Um, I think that's not happening anymore, at least not here today. I think that there is a stereotype thanks to the movies and being a girl in IT world is a little bit strange for some people because uh, they think that a uh, girl can do technical stuff. So we are here to, to say it's not true. These are all very open and, and social people. Um, and apart from the fact that they are all talking about hacking, uh, you wouldn't know they are hackers actually. Yeah, in our minds, we, we have a sort of hacker mindset and that's what we all share. These fantastic young talents are playing Capture the Flag competitions, or CTF for short. It's a competitive way of learning practical hacking skills. A CTF is all about diverse challenges and puzzles, from hacking hardware to hacking websites. These puzzles test cybersecurity skills in a safe environment. But how do you get into playing CTF competitions internationally? How does the whole process work? And how did these talents end up there? Let me explain. You start by playing online CTF challenges with friends. You can then enrol and show your skills in your country's national CTF competition. All European nations organize national CTFs and provide training to their national teams. 
Once you successfully participate in your country's CTF, you may be selected by your national competition to be part of the team that attends the European Cybersecurity Challenge, where European countries battle against each other. After the European Challenge, a small number of these national talents from different European nations are selected to form Team Europe. Talents attend two Team Europe boot camps, and from these boot camps, a final European team lineup of 15 talents is selected. After some final training, they compete in the International Cybersecurity Challenge, or ICC, against teams from other continents. That's what you were watching at the beginning of this video. And so, right now, we're at the first of the Team Europe boot camps in Tallinn, where Anissa and a dedicated team of coaches are providing tailored training in various cybersecurity skills, all in gamified ways. I want to welcome you. I want to also congratulate you. It's time for the Olympics. And of course, in the Olympics, you have the best of the best. Of course, in this room, we also have the best of the best. But the trick in the Olympics is that it's not only the individual talent, but it's the teams. So the goal for you is not only to shine and develop your own capabilities, but also make sure that your team shines. We can't do it alone. And you probably will not be able to do it alone also in the future in the career should you stay in this domain. Use the talent and the expertise of your team members. And this is what is, in the end of the day, what I find is the glue of cybersecurity, trust between the different players. In these three days activities, we are foreseeing to have a hands-on training. The aim of these bootcamps and all the training activities is to reach to the final team members of Team Europe. So, now we've spoken to some of the players, about the trainers? How do they approach training these fantastic talents? What do they think is important? Hi, I'm Sanne. Uh, I'm coming from the Netherlands and I'm trainer for uh, Team Europe. Hello, my name is Johannes. I am from Estonia. So it's me, Mario. They are a really young guy and, and, and they are uh, already, many of them, they are really quite strong <laughs> uh, with, with computers. What skills does a hacker need? Stay persistent. It's really easy to look at a problem and shut down and think, I would never be able to do this. But if you just give it your best shot, it can surprise you. It can take you forward and you will be better than you expect. The subject is hard and requires a lot of um, time spent on it to, to learn it. So uh, passion, it's, it's necessary to keep up with all the new things that they're going to come up. Curiosity. So that is, in my opinion, the most important thing that you can learn and you have to keep building it because computers are changing all the time, the vulnerabilities, security problems, they change all the time. And I think you have to be a team player. But you really need more people and different minds, different ways of shining a light on something in order to, uh, to solve something. And what's at the heart of good hacker training? I think it's really important to engage them in what they are doing, right? There is this great feeling when uh, you are trying to solve an art, an art problem and you get to the solution, okay? And that rewarding feeling is what uh, we are trying to get to them and what uh, will keep them uh, playing and learning about the subject. We show them by providing trainings and share our personal experiences that Working in cybersecurity is really nice and they can turn their hobby into good careers. When, when I'm looking right now at the people in this room, all of them are bright, shining young students who are really interested in the field. So I think all of them will have successful careers and complete their own goals. After three days of intense training, it's a last time to relax. Have dinner together, enjoy the scenery. It's all part of creating a team. Cheers. The second and last Team Europe boot camp is in Turin, Italy. This is also the last boot camp before the trainers need to decide on the final composition of Team Europe to compete in the ICC against other teams from around the world. 
Having competed in local, national and European CTFs and after many days of training in Team Europe's boot camps, maybe our talents have some advice for you as well. You need the interest. So you can start, you know, just uh, joining these CTF competitions. And when they suggest you some competitions or something, say yes, always say yes. It's great opportunity. It is really a process. You cannot immediately go to the, the top level. You need to start with small things and then continue growing. And there's lots of, well, easy CTFs, uh, s small cybersecurity challenges you can, uh, can try. Uh, which pretty much everyone uh, can solve and build from that. I mean, you uh, get more skilled along the way uh, and you start being able to solve harder challenges. So uh, just uh, start small and uh, dream big, I would say. Obviously, these things aren't easy. You are going to need to learn a lot by yourself. So you definitely need to uh, want to do that by yourself, learn by yourself and have the curiosity to well start breaking things. What I would say to, uh, to a person who wants to get in the field is definitely that you should be destructively curious. Uh, pick things apart, everything sort of just uh, works in a specific way, nothing is magic and, and it actually can be a little fun to, to play around with it and sometimes break stuff. Uh, that is what we do after all. It's uh, not as hard as it thinks. Like uh, when I began then I thought I was like in the stars like to become a hacker. But really it's uh, I think uh, realistic to, to learn everything and I think most important thing is to find people that are interested in it and that motivates me the most. Don't be afraid and just try it. and. Try to search new things and learn new stuff and you will meet amazing people. Find your local hackerspace, find a local CTF team and then start talking and start playing games. Um, that is really like the social part of it is, is definitely a big reason why I'm in it. Today we're going to prepare together two different kinds of pasta, tagliatelle and ravioli. You heard it right, pasta. Not just for dinner, oh no. Working together to create this Italian dish is a great example of team building. Who said hacking is only for a computer? Plus, who says no to a plate of delicious pasta after a tough boot camp? It's almost time for ICC. Back to the coaches because they have an important decision to make. My name is Pedro Dao and I'm a coach for Team Europe. The boot camps are really fun because you see how these talents, how they approach cybersecurity, how much they engage in cybersecurity. And that's really lovely. And they are doing this just for fun. People that participated in the boot camps as candidates for Team Europe evolved a lot. They also evolved as a group, as a community. They met with each other and they created a bond. They were collaborating, they were exchanging pictures and ideas, uh, having a lot of fun together. We had a lot of team building activities as well. I think it was fundamental. Uh, and we observed that in, in Athens. These players, they knew each other, they were friends with each other. This bonding that we created through the boot camps, I think was a big reason why we did well. And now the coaches face a difficult dilemma. Picking the final team was tough. It's always tough when you create a bond with people to make a selection. We had very good candidates and very strong profiles. Uh, it was not easy and honestly, not all coaches had the same opinions. And I think we came up with the best team we could. But it was tough. Team Europe 2022 presents itself to you in person. Web and mobile application. And system exploitation. And cryptography. Hardware and reverse engineering. Forensics and escape rooms. We take on the challenges of the first international cybersecurity challenge. We are Team Europe. Curious young talents in a global community. Let's enhance our skills. Let's collaborate and network. Let's raise awareness. Let's amaze our brains. And now it's finally time to see what happened in the International Cybersecurity Challenge. When I entered the plane, I thought, OK, the mission starts. So we had been through that for almost two years, uh, but I was Entering that plane convinced that we had a good shot at the top three. When I entered the venue of ICC, I was 
for sure nervous because I was thinking of the coming days. How are we going to perform? How the people are going to feel? Uh, how the team is going to feel? So, there were two competition days with separate winners. Time to find out who won the first day, the Jeopardy day. The winner is Team Europe. Team Europe! By the end of day one, we did amazing. Our players did amazing. And we knew that we were ahead by 1,000 to 1,400 points. And that night was, was really hard because we had a chance. That was, that was the moment that I believed that we had a chance. The second day was even more intense with teams showing their skills in defending networks and stealing flags by exploiting vulnerabilities. So who won the second day, the attack defense day? And the winner for this award is Team Asia. Asia won the second day, but what about the overall winner of the event? Then we had the, the first place overall winner when they call our name is Team Europe. Team Europe. It was just amazing. It was just really an explosion of uh, happiness, and uh, and everyone was very happy because it was a long journey. So. Everyone was happy, players, uh, coaches, staff, Christina, our team manager. So it was really an amazing film. When I saw the team winning in the award ceremony, I felt very much touched. It was crazy. We just jumped. We were happy. Uh, I think I hugged every single player on the way to the stage. Everyone was happy, no matter where you placed. And that's the, that's the important part, is that you Everyone enjoyed the competition. We feel events like this are fabulous. It is all for the players and the young kids. This year's ICC is over, but it's going to come back again and again the coming years. So if you want to take part in this and you want to live the experience, express your interest. Maybe it's time for you to join. You can join our team, just enroll in, in your local competitions. And who knows, you might be one of the lucky players selected to be representing Team Europe.